Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching and welcome back to another Timeless Pick a Card reading. Today we are going to take a look at Rahu. I've got the Rahu cards out of the Vedic Astrology deck and we're going to see what Rahu wants to say to us. Now this time I do have little crystals. These are the crystals we have here in the house. Um, and the reason I've got the crystals is because I've got several tarot decks by my side. And what I thought we're going to do in this reading is I'm going to draw one tarot card from an individual deck. So let's say if I've got, and I'm going to aim for five. So we've got five separate decks. So everybody gets a kind of individual tarot card because, and the reason I'm doing it this way is because with Rahu, we are dealing with the individual, the thing that's unique. So we're going to draw one card from one deck and that's it. And in terms of oracles, we do have the Stoic Wisdom deck. I thought we could use that as well. And we've got the jar. So feel free to choose from group one, group two, or group three, and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there, group one. If you chose group number one, or this stunning terminated quartz crystal, is that what they would, this is a terminated point, is that what it's called? I think so. Anyway, it's clear quartz and it's beautiful, so welcome. Welcome, welcome, group number one. And what we're going to do is we'll draw, so we'll take one of these and then we'll take one from Sufi Tarot. And I had to have Sufi Tarot today because it's very, oh, well, let's shuffle all that again. <laughs> that was a bit messy. Um, okay, come on, maybe one will pop out. That one's popping out. All right, we want this one. Uh, it's very unique this deck I'll show you and I've got the guidebook because I've got the guidebook here because last time I think I read one of the cards I didn't read it correctly so I've got the guidebook here just in case I need to double check something I hope you're having a good week wherever you are here we've got a lot of beautiful sunshine in Sydney, Australia. It's about time. Mind you, it is very windy. <laughs> There's always something here these days. All right, let's begin. Let's, let's take a look and see what's going on. So our Rahu card. Okay, we've got Rahu in the 10th house. Best position, right? Well, yeah, I do think this is one of the best positions for Rahu because Rahu is naturally ambitious and Rahu wants to be on the world stage, right? Who wants to be at the top or going to the top? So this works really well because the nature of Rahu is to be ambitious and the 10th house is all about ambition and getting to the top and all of that. So we've got best position, Rahu pursues success, travels widely, intelligent, famous, great at business, has few children, wants to lead, father's health suffers, okay? And, and of course that depends on we'd look at other things with that father's health, you know, we'd be looking at ninth Lord. We'd, we'd, yeah, there, there are other things we'd be looking at, but that's our beginning. So clearly I think we're looking at work here today. Six of cups. Okay. Nostalgia. This is you looking back, possibly looking back at a time when you were a lot happier. And this is, Someone who's looking back to their younger self as depicted in this card. So let's take a look. Maybe you're reminiscing on old times or good times that you, you once had. And that, and that could be in relation to your career. It could be in relation to travel that you used to do. Or I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what else comes. Take one of these. We'll take all right one of these. This is my satin deck, <laughs> and I'm wearing dark blue as well. I should be wearing purple. I didn't think this morning, I haven't been thinking, just been doing the day. 
all right let's see take this one and let's go for it let's take all right let's take one of these no i know yeah one of these <laughs> and one of these i think that makes a pretty good spread oh two of pentacles okay that wants to be seen so let's take a look at it we've got a bit of jupiter here all right it's funny i was thinking about rahu and jupiter this morning uh two of pentacles do not spoil what you have by desiring what you have not so this is very much a message of being in the moment, being grateful for what you have, because it's through that vibration, more will come. Because you're thinking about the more that you have now, you know, like where in your life is it going good? So this is just another reminder for that. So that's good. We always need that reminder. That's a good thing. Page of Cups, beautiful. A new start in love. This can be when it comes to career, though, because we are we do have a career focus with Rahu in the tenth. This is about perhaps you refocusing on what it is that you love to do, and making sure that you're moving towards that. Okay, let's see what else we have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The full new beginning, fantastic. Did you get this last time? I can't remember, I think so. The full new beginning. There could be a new beginning when it comes to your work or to do with your love life as well. That's a possibility because we do have, these are kind of romantic and sweet cards. These are really nice. The six of cups, the page of cups. So if this is love life for you, there's a fresh newness here and that's just wonderful. But if this is career, maybe you're looking back, and maybe you're looking back at times when career was really good. And I know I had that when I used to work. There were certain teams I used to work with, and we used to have so much fun. And I miss that. And every now and then I do reflect back on that time in my life and think, yeah, I'm going to recreate that somehow going forward, you know? All right, we've got the Five of Cups here. Okay quite an emotional time here we've got a lot of cups so I think where you are right now you're possibly quite emotional about something I think you're reflecting I think you're emotional there is a new beginning here though let's we'll just put that there for now we'll see what else we've got four of pentacles okay so there's something you're holding on to and definitely a message of gratitude. I will take one more here and I kind of want to find out about this Five of Cups. What's the Five of Cups about? Why do we have that card here? Ace of Wands. Wow, okay. Interesting. So we've got here... Let's see, so I think yeah, there's something you are, we've got a beautiful new beginning here though, and let's keep that at the center of the reading. This is good. But you're holding on to something, and yet you're kind of not in the now. I'd say, I mean, so definitely some messages that are coming through, you're not in the now, you're in the past. There is like, the, this can be a wishing sort of an energy, you're wishing for something. You're possibly wishing for a new beginning of some kind. There is some form of disappointment here. So perhaps some of the pasts you don't like to reflect on. And I would say don't reflect on it, you know, because look at that. When I clarified, we've got the Ace of Wands. So, and we've got this, I mean, she's shocked. She's surprised. She is... And perhaps I kind of feel like something about this situation, there was shock or there was surprise, took you by surprise, um, and you didn't act quickly enough, maybe, because you were holding on to something else, you were holding on to past. And I think what this reading is about is, is about, yeah, it's, so when you look back, 
so the, it's like in this situation or this moment or whatever it is there was gr- good like and I'm, I want to say great like there was good great in that moment or whatever that was but then equally there's like pain and heartbreak I think the pain or heartbreak or difficulty is connected in with what you were holding on to and it's because of the holding on that you weren't able to go with this flow and I do think this ace of wands this is some kind of spark in connection with the past okay Uh, yeah and this five of cups so I really all that you need to do and we're not going to the this is connected in with this five of cups and four of pentacles but the guidance is that there is still the potential of so whatever this was that was great and that had this spark and it could have been a job it could have been a new opportunity it could have been something I don't feel like any of that is lost and I do feel like you can uh, that this if look if it's due for you it will come back okay so I don't think there's anything lost there's five of cups here there's pain over loss yeah I know and I think what you need to do is definitely let go and let go of this situation as well is kind of what I'm seeing here yeah I think there's some letting go that needs to happen but if you know if you're this is the thing with the karmic accountant right I'm wearing blue Saturn (laughs) I talked about this in the Saturn in Aquarius video if you're due for something if you're due for something good you'll get it you're not going to miss out you know and if it's not in the way you had visualized before it'll be something else it'll be something new the full right it'll be something new but it'll be the same feelings the same vibration the same everything so i don't see that you have to worry i think what you have to do is be grateful look around you what is in your now immediate now and be grateful for that and things will grow from that place and they'll grow slowly and incrementally but that's good slow growth is the better kind actually we don't want these Rahu sort of meteoric whoosh, like, although, I mean, that could be fun. <laughs> but anyway, um, all right, let's have a look here. What do we have? We've got, it is best to avoid people and situations that you know drive you crazy. Yes, I agree with that. Remember to vote with your feet. If a situation is untenable or unchangeable, walk away. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hmm, how does that work with this? Do you know, and this this could be a little bit of a sort of, um, maybe you're looking at the past with some rose-tinted glasses. Maybe, yeah, maybe there's something about this situation that wasn't right as well. Um, Interesting. Mm, okay let's take a look at what this is the universe doesn't know the difference between a dime and a million if you refuse the dime the universe thinks you don't want money so you collapse your chances wow that is amazing if you refuse the dime look at that yeah and i i'm kind of feeling like that's where this regret is coming from I think you refused the dime maybe you refused yeah, I'm getting refused the breadcrumb or refused the opportunity or the potential of what was because you were holding on to some old past so you couldn't actually receive the dime because you were holding on so this is very much I mean the, the guidance here is very much about um, letting go of blockages or old thoughts or old thinking or old relationships or old jobs or old situations right letting go letting go of that and um, being grateful for what you have so being grateful for the the love in your life or the money in your life or the you know be grateful that you now know 
Be grateful that you're now not the same person that you were before. You're far wiser. You're far more intelligent. If something comes in again, you would be different. You've got to trust that. You've got to know that, well, I'd be different now. I've grown. I've, I've become wiser and more experienced. Let's take one more. <laughs> it's a short one. We have time. <laughs> we have the luxury of time. Oh, nice. The secret to success is to subjugate your ego and serve others. Yeah, and I mean, maybe that's what you have to let go of. Maybe you have to let go of... Um, maybe if this is a missed opportunity, perhaps maybe there was some ego in the way. That's the thing to let go of. Yeah. That's, that's, that's all that that is. But group one, this is lovely energy. And I feel like if there's anything that you feel like you missed, don't you worry. That, that'll come back in. Just a little bit of work, I think, is required to clear the space. And, and you'll see things will change. And you've got to trust yourself. Trust yourself. You're not the same person who you were. You are now far wiser and uh, far more capable. So group number one, that was your reading today. I hope this was a good reading for you. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two or this really beautiful rose quartz crystal, you are in the right place. And I'm going to shuffle one of these Rahu cards. Oh, oh, we just had that. Do we keep it? Yeah, I think we do. <laughs> because it wants to be here. So look at that Rahu in the 10th. We've got another career type reading. Mind you, I've just come out of group one and that did feel, I mean, that could have been love as well. So who knows? Um, but it could have been career. I think for you guys, well, let's, let's see. Let's see what it is. We'll draw from here. We're going to draw, I'm liking this spread. It's like every single tarot card is a one-off. So, because it has to be, because this is Rahu, the original, the one-off, the, you know, nobody can repeat what I do. <laughs> I am so unique. That's Rahu. Let's take that one and let's take, well, let's take one from here. Let's be a bit more greedy. It is Rahu after all. <laughs> Last time for group one, I just took I just took that one and then started reading. But let's be greedy. Okay, Rahu in the tenth. Ooh, wow. Now I think this is the devil, if I'm not mistaken. I've got the guidebook, so we'll, we'll check that out. That is that is, yeah, what a cool <laughs> depiction. Look at the chain, gosh. But look at that, the window. Oh my goodness, some drama. Oh, the fall again. That's amazing. All right, well, it's a new beginning. Two major arcana here. I'm gonna just double check this guidebook because sometimes I'm not so familiar with, um, I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, the devil. Ego, shadow, self, fears, attachment, unclear thinking, feeling trapped, losing to temptation and addiction. Okay, there's quite a bit in there. Uh, let's have a look here. Contemplations. What behaviors do I engage in that are harmless, harmful to me? What thought patterns hold me down? Affirmation. I depend upon nothing except the one. Wow, that is deep okay yes the one I like that that very much and this is your window to the one okay we've got the full here we've got a new beginning I do think this is work I do think that work might be feeling a bit you know gosh what am I doing here you know it's um because you've probably outgrown it you've probably outgrown your workplace you probably spiritually developing very rapidly a lot of people are right now uh, there's a lot of talk about how there's rapid 
acceleration of awareness and growth on the planet. Um, there's an astrologer I quite like, Pam Gregory. She talks about, I think, M class, X class flares, like all these technical fancy things. Um, and she talks about like the quality of the light and, you know, a lot of scientists are doing studies on these things and there's rapid acceleration of growth, awareness, spiritual development. So a lot of people are feeling stuck in, you know, in, in a job, say, for example, that, that, that's not or an inst institution or work or something that these things are slow. This, look at that 10th house Capricorn. These things are slow to change. We've got Pluto come in here in the sidereal Vedic system. It is breaking down institutions. It is breaking down the old ways, but it's still Capricorn and, and it's going to take time. So that's good that you're growing a lot faster than, you know, the rate of change of the world. Great. There is a new beginning on the table, so that's fantastic. So that is there. Let's get some more information about what's going on here. I better shuffle these. Because <laughs> I just put the cards back in. I do shuffle. And then the same cards keep coming out. Amazing. Whoops. Just knocking the camera. Okay. Let's take this one. And we'll take one of the oh one of these I think. Make sure I pat them all down. Okay, take that one. Oh we'll take one of these as well. Go for this one instead. Kind of mix it up a bit. Okay. Let's see what's going on more information the moon okay yeah this is a time of just reflecting which you are doing by watching this video you are reflecting you are contemplating you're in this nice space of you know i just want to just want to ponder what's going on nine of cups okay good this is good okay i think you're doing fine <laughs> So, and I think you know, I think this is about awareness, this is about seeing, this is about possibly, you're possibly seeing others around you who are feeling trapped and stuck at this time or they're going through hardship. There could be some people in your world that are going through tough stuff. I think deep down you are doing very well. I think you're fine. Because you're fine to be here in this contemplative space where you're alone and you're contemplating and through that you can find the safety and the harmony with ease. You know how to get there because you indulge in this kind of stuff, right? So the star, yeah, healing, exactly, yes. Yeah, this is you You're and you are a healer. So here's the other thing. I think like you just being in the lives of the people around you is massively healing and they might see you as we've got this um, window to the one to the all is one with this new beginning here so there might be some people around you who see you and your energy as healing, uplifting, calming, kind. And maybe sometimes some, some people, they, they can kind of um, hang on our coattails a bit or like, yeah. Let's see, let's uh, get a little bit more information about that. What's the new beginning? I want to know what the new beginning is because one of the ways I'm seeing this is that it's like um, people see you. As bringing new energy or something people see you as a refuge or what's the full what's the new beginning here five of wands yes that's the thing I was kind of feeling that like mm, people will compete for your energy and they'll want a bit of that because you know how to be calm, you know how to recenter, you know how to 
keep a cool head and you know how to ground and you know you've got tools you've got abilities you've got tools you've got gifts you can help others do it but it's like there's something about people sense this people know this and they're like oh brilliant I'm just gonna be with them and you know but so it's, I think I think that some of the guidance here is, is about possibly just boundaries possibly just seeing and knowing that uh, yeah, that people, people will want to, I'm getting this kind of like, like I can't explain it, like, it's like, and maybe you're going up or something, but they're, 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 hey, don't go too high, you know, it can be that as well, uh, let's see, any other guidance, let's just get a little bit more guidance, so I think that's what the new beginning is about, what do you need to do at this time, oh, we'll take one of these, what do you need to do at this time? Is there anything you need to do? And I know with weekly picker cards, it's kind of like just an energy check-in and because every week things aren't changing so dramatically. So I bear that in mind. Okay, let's have a look here. Seven of Wands. Wow, yeah, there's a lot of people sort of competing for your energy. You're having to... Look at that, this is a boundaries card. Uh, yeah, and this is the thing. No man was ever wise by chance. You've worked for this. You've worked to be in this nice position that you're in you know um so value that look after that there is a little bit of yeah guard that um people are they're trying to take you know and um you will have to say no and you will have to you know um you will have to guard your energy a little bit yeah yep i'm getting that here okay interesting very interesting group two you're doing fine but yeah there are people around you who kind of want some of that nice vibe that you've got going on you know and, and they don't know they possibly don't know how to do that for themselves what do you do a bit, this is a big one hmm to pine for an alternative past is a waste of energy. In the pristine world of your infinite spiritual self, there is no sin or negative energy. Wow. There is only compassion, learning and unconditional love and forgiveness. In the light of God, everything is healed and seen to be perfect. Yeah, and I think you really know that. And I think you live this, you know, this way of... You know that, but it's like, okay, so there's an alternative past here. Wow. It's a little bit like group one. But I don't think you're pining for an alternative past. See, in the pristine world of your infinite spiritual self, there is no sin or negative energy. Yeah. But in the world, there is <laughs> negative energy, right? And in the outside world, so in the infinite self, which you know how to come back to and be in you know how to come back in here and be in your infinite self and experience all the beauty and the light and the, all that sort of stuff but out in the world they're lacking that and they're looking for it in possibly jobs or addictions or you know whatever all this card is about right and then and some of these people they'll see that you're so calm and happy and they'll come and try to get the good stuff from you so yeah, I like this quote. Let's see what else comes. I think this kind of really nicely describes the difference between the two things that we've got going on here. Human beings are naturally successful. As a result, we only need remove the obstacles to our success to let it shine out. Yeah, and that's the thing it's like if only these people would know that they can be naturally success naturally successful or that they are naturally successful it's just they themselves that are holding themselves back or bringing themselves down i think the obstacles that you need to remove are possibly <laughs> too many ties or connections with these people if there's anybody yeah it just kind of feels like there's maybe some people on your path that are 
you know, tugging your chain <laughs> about that. I'm sure that's some colloquial phrase. Let's see, can we take another one? I think we can. Yeah, let's, it's Rahu. Let's be greedy. Let's take a lot of stuff. All right. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is a Stuart Wilde thing. Do things the ego does not like to do. So he says that if you yourself are suffering from ego, um, he says that, you know, he, his solution is get up at four in the morning every day and go for a long walk and take cold showers. And, you know, he did all that. He did all the hard discipline type stuff in order to that's the that's the thing he believes sorts out the ego like magic he says you know in a week or two of doing that you really can sort yourself out and this is people do that people sign up for vipassana courses where you know you're up at four in the morning and you meditate and you don't talk to anyone for 10 days and all this kind of thing right so yeah um that could be something that you recommend to um people that you know if there's someone in your life and you need to suggest something to them you can suggest they try that but group number two i'm feeling quite lovely energy here i think keep keep going you know keep being you and and yeah do do treat yourself to time out time alone contemplative time recharge time i think you need some of that we all do i mean gosh so important isn't it and yeah hopefully this pick a card is the kind of thing where you can do a bit of that all right well let me know how you got on in the comments below i would love to hear from you and i look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number three if you chose group number three or this beautiful tiger's eye crystal in england i have an incredible um what is it? It's a blue tiger's eye. That's stunning. Anyway, if you chose that crystal, <laughs> then you are in the right place. Now we are going to shuffle from here. What does Rahu want you to know? I think I forgot to say that in group two. Oh well. <laughs> what does Rahu want you to know? Um, and we're going to take one of these. I hope you're well wherever you are. Here in Sydney, it is nice and warm. It's nice and sunny, finally. Gosh. We've had so much rain, like unusual. It's been really weird, the rain that we've had. It's, yeah. Okay, one of these. All right. I hope I shuffle properly as well. Oh, we've been getting a lot of repeats. All right, that one's popping up. Okay, let's see what we've got. So, oh, we're looking at all three together. Aha, Rahu in the sixth. Oh, terrific. Rahu likes being here. Victory over enemies, yes. Long life, illness that baffles doctors. Excels in law and medicine, respected like a king. Fantastic. And that's the thing. Rahu likes being in here because, you know, he likes all the chaos and the craziness and... And that's the lawyer thing. It's like, it's nothing he likes more than pursuing a bit of justice and knocking people on the head and all that. I, I, yeah, Rahu likes this. <laughs> that's good. All right, so Rahu enjoys being there. Nice. Oh, get out. We just had this. I'm sure I shuffled. All right, we had this in group one so the six of cups so there is some nostalgia here okay let us continue three of pentacles okay this could be something to do with work this could be something to do with the team that you work with or your skills let's have a look what are we going for? One of these. This could be work, you know, because we've got Rahu in the sixth. And sixth is career. It's your service to the world. It is work. Oh, 
and see what we've got. Okay. All right, and oh, hang on, no, we'll take one of these before this one. Right. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can shuffle so we get some new cards. See, part of me is like I should probably take cards. Out. But then I want everyone to get the opportunity of a full deck. So I put them back in. Oh wow, heartbreak. Okay. Right. Hmm, movement, chariot. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, what have we got? Uh, we'll take... Uh, Take one of these. Same as group one. So there's movement. Five of Swords, there's conflict. Whoa, this is this is an amazing reading. Okay, I'm gonna draw some more cards. <laughs> So we've got nostalgia here. There's something you're reflecting on from the past. I think this is in connection with work. There's heartbreak here. And it's kind of like pain, I suppose. Yeah, I'm going to just call it pain. There's movement. And yet there's conflict. This could be inner conflict, but I'm not too sure. What's the conflict about? And we are Rahu in the sixth, right? That's full of conflict that's 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 where the lawyers go and make their money right so um five of swords what's the fight why is the five of swords here what are you conflicted about five of wands okay there's competition take it five five it's four it's interesting actually three Mm, well, that's a seven, but then five, five. I was going to say four because that's cancer and cancer is four in the... That's why it's like three, four, five, but no, this is a seven here. Um, okay. I am none the wiser. Let's take one of these. So we've got conflict, competition, arguments... Two of Swords. If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. Marcus Aurelius. Yeah, I like that. Moon in Libra. Wow, it's like reflecting on a relationship. And we do have the Three of uh, Swords here. And the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is confusion. You don't know which way to go. And it's like, if it is not right, do not do it. I agree. It's like there's something you're not sure. It's like there's something you're not sure about, do I go forward in this? And like, this is a bit of a no kind of a spread, um, which I don't normally do that kind of thing. You know what, how in tarot they do this whole, is it a yes, is it a no, and have a question, and all that kind of thing. And I, I tend not to do that, because life is not so black and white, and things change, right? So... And it's, and it's very complex, and that is a two of swords kind of a situation where things are very complicated. And you, you, you feel like you're blindfolded, or you feel like, you know, gosh, what do you choose? What do you do? Okay, um, let's put these back. So we've got this. Let's get a clarifier on the heartbreak, or if it's heartbreak, or is it just, you know, sometimes it can be a clearing. Sometimes this card can be a clearing that, good, you know, it's like, good, it's done, it's over, or can be that. For this. Seven of Pentacles, yeah, you're assessing. You're assessing something from the past. It's like you're not sure whether or not to move forward or what is this moving forward let's take one of these 
although this just fell oh that fell as well oh gosh okay two cards have just fallen out so as I put this down this one slid off the top and then you just saw this completely sort of it didn't fly out but you know <laughs> it wants to be here all right so what's this the empress okay interesting the world wow Mm. Ah, and I was asking about this. So you're moving forward to your success is what I would say. And this is your creative, what you want to birth in the world, right? Your creativity. You're moving forward to that. And we've got the world. And it's like the world is waiting for you kind of thing. I just had the phrase pop in my head like, why are you taking so long or something like that? Yeah, I mean, like, can, that can be that. Uh, okay. What's, what's taking you so long? Should we shuffle on that? What's, what is taking you so long? What's taking you so long? It's like, okay. It's like the universe wants you to... Let's ask about it. Uh, which one do I? Hmm. What's taking you so long? Let's ask Saturn. <laughs> like, um, I think Saturn might be in the way. Saturn might be delaying things. Come on, Saturn. What's going on? Why is it all taking so long? This person clearly wants to just... Oh, Seven of Pentacles again. Oh, and let's take the other one. Oh, Eight of Pentacles. What's taking you so long? All right. Well, you, you are... Maybe, do you know, and maybe Saturn is assessing you. Because here we've got you are assessing this past situation. I tell you what, Saturn has his eyes on you. He's assessing you. And I think he's assessing your work. And I've got the phrase popping into my head, you're ready when you're ready. So I don't think... It's, I, that's where the conflict is coming from, I think. Because inside, you're like, well, why is it taking me so long? That's your tension, actually, I think. Where Saturn's kind of like, yeah, he's happy. He, I mean, he's always assessing you. And, and also, he's, this takes time. Like, the Eight of Pentacles is hard work. And it's the thing that you can't do in a day. And it's, it's all that kind of thing. You've also got the Three of Pentacles here as well. So this is about you becoming a master craftsperson. This is about you becoming excellent at what you do. That's the most important thing right now. And I think maybe whatever this was, maybe that's some nice distraction. Okay, but I think what's a bigger priority... Also, this is a tiger's eye. This is like... I think tigers are quite kind of are they a go-getter type thing <laughs> you know they 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 um and they're in the now moment and they act on yeah i just heard the phrase instinct okay so they act on instinct and they just they do and they know there's this kind of um and sometimes they're waiting do you know sometimes a tiger it's not like they're always eating or killing things right do they I don't even know. <laughs> I was like, do they eat animals like how lions do? I think they do. But they're not always... You know, sometimes they're watching and sometimes the, then they, they know when to pounce kind of thing. So I feel like the inner conflict... I think there's some inner conflict around your own self and your own progress and your own development. You're probably thinking, why is it taking me so long? Or, and But... I'm getting here that I think if the movement is fine. And yeah, it's slow, but it, I think it kind of has to be. So I'm not getting any hurry up message or no, none of that. So that's good. We'll put those there. Let's just, should we have a look here? Let's just have a little look here. We'll take one of these. I'm kind of running out of time. <laughs> oh, Ace of Swords. Yeah, and that's, um, that's this. If, if it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. Yeah, and I mean, I, I think that's, this is Saturn as well, like having his eyes on you that, okay, are you going to do the right thing? Do the right thing. Do the right thing by you and all others. 
which I'm sure you are doing, and, and I'm sure that's all you want to do as well, right? I don't think there's anything in your heart that is other than, wow, and maybe this is some kind of like death of desire or death of a wrong desire, or there's something about you wanting your heart to be pure, that you want to have purity in your heart, I want to want the right thing, this kind of thing. Let's explore that. I want to want the right thing. Because if you always want the right thing, then all your actions and everything will all be, you know, matching that and uh, you can't go wrong. It's when we want the wrong thing for us that, you know, stuff goes wrong, isn't it? Let's have a look. Whoa, get out. Oh, group three. Maybe this is confirmation that you, I'm getting this as like confirmation that you, that you do want the right things for you and for the others involved. Maybe that's why some past thing didn't work out because because it wasn't the right thing. Well, let's just put that there. This is such a dramatic depiction. Look at this guy. Jeez. Full on. Okay. <laughs> um, hmm. I just uh, let's just take one more. I know we're running out of time, and I was I was hoping for a swift reading here, because it's easier to edit. <laughs> But let's just ask for one more. Just, just one more on this side. Anything, anything else with this? Okay, this, this kind of wobbled a bit. Yeah, Ten of Wands or something. Here, oh, wow, look at that again at the bottom. Be sharp. Be, and there's something on this side. There's something about maybe what you did want that would just be full of burden and heartbreak. you got to assess this. Your future is beautiful. And I think you're conflicted about how long it's taking, but don't, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, it's taking time, but it's going to be worth it. Okay, let's take this and this. All right, let's go with the big one first. Lean toward love at all times. Cut people slack. Forgive and forget. Be kind. Very kind. The more you do that, the less fear you will have. People will raise up to support you. Refuse to be scared in this lifetime. Beautiful. So yeah, anything here that we have some worries about, um, love will heal everything, okay? So that's come in and that's nice. So if, yeah, you've got some worries about something in the past there. If there's a lot of love, it'll clear and heal everything. Okay, balance and good fortune can only come to a person who is balanced and feels fortunate. Beautiful, I love that. Yes, that's, yes, that is so true. And I think this is you. I think this is where you are. There's just at the moment, like, um, there's just a little bit of inner conflict around, I think kind of, there's some inner conflict or tension around how long it's taking. It's just that, but you're on track. And that the way to get there is to be balanced. And we can see that with this card here it's like balancing they call this like the twin what is it the, the twin something of for the twin forces of fate and fortune or something like i don't know if i find something I'll, while i'm editing i'll put it on the screen but it's interesting we've got one white and one black and it's like you know um it's like Balancing light and shadow or this kind of thing, right? Um, but that you need both. Like I always think that to ascend, it's not just, oh, I, I'm just full of light and love. No, you need to have mastered the other emotions as well, just as much. Like you need both. You need both the light and the dark. And you kind of balance on top of that. But it's like if, if all you have is love, then, then this will be skewed. Or if all you have is 
one or the other like you need both kind of thing yeah amazing group three there's amazing energy here and i don't know if you can hear that incredible kookaburra that is a positive omen so that has come in for this side here the birds are singing <laughs> and it's all good and you're on your way so group number three i hope this has been a good reading for you let me know how you got on in the comments below i would love to hear from you and i look forward to seeing you next time